You know, I don't want to make this video. I really don't. It's something that I don't want to talk about, I don't want to acknowledge, I don't really want to bring this up because it's just going to make me sad. But with an update like this, I think it kind of spells a little bit of what the future may hold for this player and his entire tenure for the Montreal Canadiens. So, we know there are a lot of things going on with the Habs right now. We can talk about Raphael harvey Pinard and his dominance. We can talk about the scoring and how things have sort of been fun, even though Cole Caulfield has been removed from the rest of the season's worth of play. There are a few good stories to converse about when it comes to the Montreal Canadiens, but today I want to talk about one that is not a happy feel-good, wow, look at this young guy excelling so much in the Canadiens type of conversation. Let's talk about a guy who is not young. He's a little bit old, and he is on pretty much the tail end of his NHL career, and we had ourselves an update from his wife on Instagram as to what the plan may be heading into the next little while here. Now, before we start out, I do want to say that Instagram updates are not formal statements by players or teams. There are definitely a little bit more intricacies than just going over and looking at what somebody posted on their story, but at the end of the day, this is the first nugget of information that we have had regarding this player in quite some time now, so I thought it would be appropriate to go out there and just talk about what's apparently happening and go over the future of Carey Price. Take a look at what his wife posted on Instagram the other day. This is from Habs on Reddit because, you know, Instagram stories expire after a day. They posted this back on the 29th. It looks like Carey Price and his family will be selling their house in Montreal and moving to Kelowna later this year, according to his wife, Angela. Attached are two screenshots of Angela's Instagram stories from earlier in the week. Are you and the family going to be back in Montreal next year? She says, it looks like we'll be making the move to Kelowna after this hockey season, slash when Liv finishes school. But I feel like we'll come back for visits quite a bit. Another question asked, will you put your house up for sale at the end of the season? Yes, we will. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to this house, and especially our neighbors. And so, with this idea in mind, it's sort of... You know, it's sort of starting to sink in that this is a real thing, that Carey Price, not that we're not used to seeing him not play, I mean, he's been out for the whole year, right? But Carey Price pretty much is done. And with this entire Instagram post saying that after this hockey season, him and the family are going over to Kelowna, they're selling their house in Montreal, there's no reason for him to own property here anymore... It's honestly quite sad seeing how things have gone, especially how they're going to end off like this. Now, I do want to say one thing about Angela Price's Instagram post. It's very interesting how she says, I feel like we'll come back for visits quite a bit because there are some people speculating, oh, maybe Carrie Price is going to stay in Montreal and the kids and the wife are going to go to Kelowna and they're going to do whatever it is they're doing there and then they'll visit Montreal, they'll visit dad once in a while. But come on, you think that's really going to happen? You think Carey Price would go out there and separate himself from a family that, you know, he very much cares about in order to be on the LTIR for the Montreal Canadiens? I mean, I think that's a lot more of an irrational conclusion to make about this entire situation. No? It's very apparent that with things and how they are going right now, Montreal hockey may be seeing the last of Carey Price for a while, and it's gotten to a point now where... I mean, if there is a retirement announcement sometime soon, I don't think it would be all too surprising. In fact, here is an article published on NHLTradeRumors.me, Canadian's Carey Price is likely retiring after the year. Written by Rob Couch from yesterday. The article talks about the same stuff we had talked about here, how Carey Price's wife posted the stuff on her story, and it also talks about how Price still has three years remaining on his deal, so all signs point to him announcing his retirement by the end of 22-23. He has had an amazing career that is going to end without a Stanley Cup, placing him amongst the best netminders not to win. The rest of the article goes over his entire tenure, and I guess we could go ahead and do the same old song and dance, do the same thing as we have done in the past, because it never gets old, talking about how good Carey Price was as a hab, right? He's 35 years old, 6'3", 216, signed till the end of 2026, making $10.5 million a year. Huge freaking contract. And Elite Prospects is a pretty nice thing where you could see the 
awards that a guy has won over the course of his career. If we zoom in here and try to highlight each and every one of these, he's got World Junior Gold, he's got World Cup Gold, he's got Olympic Gold, he's got World Under-18 Silver, he was an AHL Calder Cup champion, he was an AHL Playoff MVP, he was the CHL's Goalie of the Year, he was on the NHL's All-Rookie Team in his first season. He also won the Vesna Trophy once, he was on the All-Star Team once, he won the Jennings once, won the Hart once, won the Ted Lindsay once, won the Bill Masterton once, won the award for best goaltender at the Olympics, he was on the World Junior All-Star team, he was the best goalie at the World Juniors, and he was the MVP for his World Junior year too, not to mention the fact that he was the top goalie in the WHL once as well. Such a decorated player. Like, all of the attributions and the awards speak for themselves, but this guy is extraordinarily pristine in the NHL record books, and it does not need to be stated that he was one of the best goaltenders of his generation, if not the absolute best, one of the best goalies of all time, and it's so unfortunate that there was no Stanley Cup to his name. Although, he did get close. I mean, look, Tampa Bay series, five games, whatever, like, you want to go out there and talk about how outmatched the Canadians were in the Lightning's back-to-back -back win, but at the end of the day, the Canadians made it there. And sure, it was in a very strange sort of playoff year where Canadians fans were not allowed into the building until like the third round and the Canadian division sort of set the Habs up for having a Cinderella run of sorts. But I mean, they played Vegas and they beat Vegas and they also beat Toronto. They came back against Toronto. So lots of good memories for the Canadians in that Stanley Cup Finals run. Not to mention, of course, Carey Price having the statistical profile that he'd had the entire time he was a Canadian. That 9-3-3 save percentage season in 66 games played still stands out as one of the best goaltending seasons we have seen in this era. So, the fact that he won all the awards that he did, the Hart, the Vesna, and the Lindsay in that season, I mean, well deserved for a guy that was one of the best goaltenders in the gosh darn world at that time. It's just very interesting to see what's going to happen next with the Canadians and their cap, because of course, with Carey Price's LTIR money being used up, $10.5 million on the cap is absolutely not cheap at all. There will be some intriguing options the Canadians can explore heading into the next few seasons once that money is completely off the books. We had seen the Canadians use other contracts on LTIR to get themselves some more assets. Shea Weber was a guy sent over to the Vegas Golden Knights, and the Canadians were able to make use of his contract. But of course, any official retirement statement goes out there and makes that a little bit different. So we'll see what happens with Carey Price as the next few months roll on. But from this update, seeing that he is probably going to be living with his family in Kelowna full-time next season, I mean, I guess it's the beginning of the end, but I don't really think anybody's surprised either. So, thoughts in the comment section below about Carey Price and the career he has had, the updates from Angela Price and her Instagram stories. Do you think this is really all that worth talking about? I mean, she just posted some stuff on her IG. Is that really all that potent to make a video about? I don't know. I made a video about it anyway. It's been eight and a half minutes, so I guess we're gonna go because I got some other things I want to talk about as well. They're a lot more intriguing, and I think today's show is gonna provide a whole bunch of entertainment for those that stick around. So talk with comments your thoughts about Carrie Price and the update from Angela. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishraj Shrolls 99. And... Bye.